clean up first. Hey, I'm Keenum, and this episode we're going to talk about dollars. Okay, let's start off with the penny. It's one cent. One penny. It is the basic building block of our currency here in the United States. And we say one, we draw a C, and then a line through it. That's how you get one cent. One penny. It's a small, little, copper-plated coin. It has other materials in it, but it's also known as a copper Lincoln. Now, if you have five pennies, that's equal to a nickel. One nickel, N-I-C-K-E-L. That's equal to five cents. Again, you draw your C, and then a line through it. That's five cents. So if it's five cents, that means five pennies is equal to a nickel. Five pennies, P-E-N-N-I-E-S. That's equal to one nickel. Five pennies is a nickel. It's five cents. That brings us then to... This is a dollar bill. And it's worth 100 cents. One dollar, at least in the United States of America. Now the two dollar bill is legal tender and it's in circulation. So you can get one from the bank if you have two dollars. Just ask. The dime! Now in the United States, we have the 10 cent coin, the dime. We'll have to do a separate video someday for our friends in Canada because they have similar currency but it's not the same. One dime, although it is physically smaller than a penny. Look at that! Hey, that's smaller! It's smaller than a penny physically. It's actually worth 10 pennies. 10 pennies is equal to one dime. Now why is that? That's because it is worth 10 cents. C-E-N-T-S. The dime is worth 10 cents. One dime. 25 pennies. That's 25 cents. One quarter. The quarter. And in Canada, I believe the quarter in Canada has a caribou on it, AKA a reindeer. But here in the United States, one quarter usually features Washington on the coin. It may have other people on it, but that's what a typical quarter looks like. And it's worth 25 pennies. It is 25 cents. So we say 25 C-E-N-T-S. One quarter is worth, hey, what's going on here? Hey, that's a lot of change, hey! Boom, boom, boom. Got one quarter and that's all I need. I've got two quarters and that's half a deed. I've got three quarters and I'm almost done. I've got four quarters and I'm back to one. Got one quarter, two quarters, three quarters. I've got four quarters, five quarters, six quarters. I've got seven quarters, eight quarters, nine quarters. I've got ten quarters, eleven quarters, twelve quarters. I've got three whole dollars, and I wonder why. I've got three whole dollars. What should we buy? I've got three whole dollars. What can we do? I've got three whole dollars for me and you. Quarters. Okay, so as we were saying, one quarter is worth 25 cents. 25 pennies, that makes a quarter. But, there are, there are other special coins we have in the United States. This is the example of a half dollar. It's a half dollar because it's worth 50 cents, just like as he, as he said. All right, go ahead and write 50 cents right here. Oh, that's really big. 50 cents. Yay! That's it. That's the half dollar. Good job, Hezzy. That's the half dollar. Don't forget, class. 100 pennies is one dollar. 50 pennies is equal to the half dollar. 
Half dollar. Now, why do we use that word dollar? Well, we're building up to that. 50 cents. That's the half dollar. Now, Hezzy's saying it's two quarters. That's right, because a quarter is 25 cents. So 25 plus 25 equals... 50! 50! It's 50 pennies or two quarters. Now, why is it called the half dollar? Because we have not only a coin, but we have a dollar bill, which we'll get to soon. The whole it's dollar coin. Dollar. The dollar coin. This is... One hundred, yeah. One hundred pennies. That's the dollar coin. You can say one hundred cents, or you can use a dollar bill, which we'll get to moment momentarily. This is one dollar. Has he found a second one? This would be two dollars. That's the dollar coin. More commonly, we have one dollar. And it is made out of other materials other than these coins, like the penny and the nickel. The dollar is worth 100 cents. Or dollar coin. Or the dollar coin. These guys are equal. The dollar bill is the same thing as the one dollar coin. This is just an easy way to carry a value of 100 cents rather than carrying four quarters or a dollar coin or a hundred pennies. That would be a lot of pennies to carry around. Four quarters is also equal to a dollar. Yeah. We have in this picture, top and bottom, two dollar bills plus two quarters. That's 50 cents, so two dollars and 50 cents plus two dimes, so that's two dollars and seventy cents, plus two pennies, so that's two dollars and seventy-two cents. In this next frame, we have two good old-fashioned dollar bills, plus two quarters, so that's two dollars and fifty cents, plus, hey, four dimes, that's two dollars and ninety cents. Yeah. And in this last frame, we have one dollar bill. Plus four quarters. No, two quarters. Clearly, I can't count. <laughs> Plus four dimes. That's what I'm looking at. Four dimes. Yeah, that's the ticket. And we have two pennies. So all together now, if you add them all together, you have $2.92. $2.92. Do you know who's on the $50 bill in America? Specifically, the United States. Do you know who's 50, on? 50,000 cents. 50,000 cents? That would be $500. As far as I recall, the $500 bill is no longer widely used. It may still be legal tender. Check with mom or dad. Hey, speaking of mom or dad, you need to subscribe to the newsletter. We can't grow this community without you. We want to make sure every child has a good quality math education, especially the kids that love numbers. And even if they don't love math, Guarantee, if they can pause, rewind, fast forward, and learn at their rate, then they will find. That's a beautiful subject that God gave us to understand the world around us. See you next time. God bless. One dollar, 100 cents. And again, you write the C and the slash to it. That's the dollar bill. Now, from here, you can start adding these together. You can have the five dollar bill. That would be when you have five dollars. One. Two, three, four, and five. If you have five dollars, well, we have a dollar for that. It's known as the five dollar bill. Hey, how did six get in here? One, two, three, four, five. I don't think we have a five dollar coin. We'll have to fact check that. Comment below wherever you can, or send us an email. Is there a $5 coin? Let's learn together. The $5 bill is a substitute for $5 bills. Similarly, or 500 cents. Similarly, we have the $10 bill. Five. Now the $10 bill is an easier way 1, to carry cents. 
ten dollars. As he's correct, ten dollars would be one thousand cents because ten one hundredths is one thousand cents. If you have ten dollar bills, we usually can substitute that with a ten dollar bill. Likewise, the twenty dollar bill is a substitute for twenty dollars. And the $50 bill is worth $50. And then there's the $100 bill. That's worth $100 bills. And it's an easier way to carry money around than to have $100 in your wallet or purse or backpack or digital wallet. $100. How many cents would be $100? One ton dollars. And a, That's right. One hundred dollars would be equal to one hundred one hundredths. That's ten thousand cents. Because a dollar is one hundred cents. So if you have a hundred of these, well, a hundred a hundredths is ten thousand. That's a lot of cents. Cut. Yes. <laughs>